how did you feel when Andre 3000 talked about you and he gave you a compliment? It was a funny compliment, a funny compliment. about and he was talking about him and his son liking your music and the messaging behind. I don't remember exact words, but it was just a funny compliment because <laughs> it's Andre 3000. It's Atlanta. How did you feel when you heard that? For him to even speak, he don't ever speak or do interviews. Talk about it. Yes. So just for him to speak and do an interview and to be speaking about me, I feel like that was a win-win. <laughs> what would you say if, out, like, Andre 3000 were sitting here right now? What would I say? Yeah. Have you met him before? I have, yeah. And what was it like? Was it weird? No. It was very natural. He's super Did he have an normal, aura? Normal, great aura, really positive, very welcoming. I didn't feel awkward at all. He made me feel like I was important, which is great. Um, yeah, just like somebody, which is kind of what I expected, though, because I've heard great things about him as a, per like, as a human being. Have you ever seen him, talk to him in person? No or? matter what he would have said in that interview. It would have no been matter, great. No matter what he said, like, right? The good. fact that he was like, future, you're like, yeah. yeah. The, the, the fact that he sat down and took his time out of his day to do the interview, thank you. I love that. Is there, would you, you say? You can't look at everything as something that you're trying to find negative. There was People nothing. People try to find wrong into anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that we was definitely be just, not. We want to just... We thankful for just a moment that you just come in here and saying, giving us two minutes of your time. Mm. We would appreciate that. You know, you don't really find that too much in like artists, like just being great human beings in general, you know? Would you ever consider like working together with him? Or have you? Would I consider working with Andre 3000? Um, I think I can make time. Make time <laughs> for Andre 3000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. Which is like, every time, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> of course, always. <laughs> okay, so. So, okay, so he's on your bucket list of people to work with. Mm -hmm. I interviewed one of my favorite, my favorite rapper of all time, Andre 3000, last year. And, uh, Yours. We, uh, we Wait, talked about... Wait, pause. <laughs> Andre 3000. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no shit, right? Like, you, like, when you say Andre 3000, you gotta pause now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Love that kid. If you made an all-time super group, including yourself, let's say a five-member group, right? dead or alive, who would be in your super group? Uh, probably like, you know, Andre 3000, because he's different. I think that would be a nice, interesting person in my group, because we're so different, too. Because you have to get people that are very different. You know what I mean? Um, I think that Andre 3000 may be the prince. You know, like the Roger Nelson, Prince Roger Nelson of fucking hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like he is so fucking brilliant to me. Yep. Like what a great kid, right? My favorite, for sure. By by far my favorite. Um. And the shit that he says is just like you have to kind of stop and say, you know what? He's right. That little motherfucker said some heavy <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> A lot of patience. Yeah, I just have to talk him into it. You know, he's like Dre. They just don't want to put anything whack out. Just like, you know, and he, he's probably even more like, he, he'll do a whole, uh, uh, you know, album within a verse when he finally does get you something. So, I mean, he came to the studio like three different times and he listened to the al both albums, picked out like four or five songs. Do you see yourself making the 2012 Double XL freshman list? No offense to Double XL. Like, I'm not concerned. It's cool that people even think like, oh, you should be on the first one, but like, I, I think it'd be better if, uh, I, I think it'd just be better to have like, you know, <laughs> I don't know, fucking Andre 3000 call you up and be like, that, that shit spoke to me. Good job, <laughs> you know, that, that would be dope. All right, we waited like, you know, eight hours. Oh man, he gonna drop some crazy shit. And he came out, he's like, all right, I think tomorrow I'll be ready. And we're like, all right, bet. Tomorrow came, you know, another eight hours. All right, tomorrow, it's the day. And I just like gave up hope and then eventually he just sent it in and it was like crazy. And the, the verse was so crazy and then we were getting close to the time to put it out and then he, he hit me he's like, I don't think this is good and I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm like, what? Me, Dre, everybody had to like, yo, convince him like, yo, this is dope. Trust me, Andre, you're dope. I can't rap you 200, songs. I ain't never paid attention to him. Mm. Never in my life. You I crazy. Paid. You missing out. Right. You missing out. Y'all need to work together. That's we, what you, hey, look. That'd be crazy. We, we most definitely, definitely Yo be crazy. motherfucking next move. Just yeah. like you went and work with Elton John, nigga. But Elton John was like, more like, 
Elton John, the difference from Elton John and Andre is Elton John, let's simplify it. Elton John, Elton John like to kiss ass. What Andre is? like his ass kiss. <laughs> Elton John like, hey, okay. I love you. I remember what you, your first song. I remember Gucci first song. Uh, when is Goo Wop getting out? Like, okay, he just more of like a you, fan yeah. type of nigga yeah. to the point where it's like, I'm like, nigga, let's do music. He like, nigga, bet. Uh, Andre more like, yo, this is his secretary. Like, hey, tell that nigga this thug, nigga. Why you gotta talk <laughs> like that, though, bro? Fuck wrong. You don't get on the fucking phone, nigga. No, you know, <laughs> know what it is. He told you stupid ass answer. No, you, you answered it. See, that's what. That's, 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 it's more like that, nigga. We from Atlanta, nigga. Then where I come from. See, this, Guess this, what? This what? This is our relationship. If you I become, don't if have I have to do that, if I become, this is our ally. No. Yes, he is, bro. Who? He's with us. Three thousand. He who ally? He's one of. He us. who ally? Us. Yeah, fucking right. Man, man yes, he is. Why you don't rap like him? What do you mean? You don't talk like him, dress like him, look like him. Hey man, that ain't for me. You ain't trying to, you ain't trying to portray none of that. But you're doing it. Man, shit. What did he say to you after that? Because you actually, you know, the video cuts off and he's kind of walking away. Yeah. So what was the conversation? Stood on the couch, put his hand up. Said, "This, this, this, this is golden." He's one of the first person I played down for. What does that mean to you? Have somebody? I mean, you know, he's like. The yeah, um, means everything, man. Just off the fact, you know, I've been a fan since day one. You know, so for him to say that um, I'm continuing, you know, the legacy and, and the culture of just, you know, the art, you know, hip hop and, and making a body of work that stands out and actually means something at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a very huge, you know, accomplishment for me, you know, confirmation of success, um, just in words. And um, yeah, man, I, I can relive the moments all day. All right, you got one track, and they said you can work with anybody right now that you that you haven't worked with. Okay. Who would you pick? Andre Three Thousand. Damn, great choice. Without a doubt. I mean, I, I don't see. <laughs> great choice. <laughs> if you got me in the lab with him, and we had no limits um, on what we could do, I guarantee that we would make wild music because, um, like, he's just and yeah, he's he, you you can't put yeah. words on him. What's your favorite album ever? <laughs> I have three favorite albums. Okay. No order. Quem and I. Yeah. Okay. Just from the intro on to the <laughs> yeah. artist story to so many great records. A Quem and I. Okay. Sergeant Pepper, The Beatles. Of course. And um, Midnight Marauder. And music. Who do you really want to work with? I want to work with Andre 3000. Yeah. Yep. Can, I mean, can't you make a phone call like, hey, yo, let's do this? I mean, I just. I'm really on tour want. right now. And I'm going to be on tour till like October, so it's like, yeah, so. <laughs> so after October, make those calls. Hopefully it goes. Hopefully it goes through. Hopefully, right? right? You going to pray for me? Hey, I am because I think that just when you say something like Andre 3000, and you look at him and his work, you you could see the attraction of yeah. why we all love him. But someone yeah. like yourself who's so creative, I mean, obvious. That's you know, that's a given. You, like I mentioned that you know the kids are growing, growing, and you know they're conscious of what's going on. What does Seven think of like? Miss Jackson or that record? He, he's never talked about it, but he's a huge fan of his father. Wow. And he's a huge fan of us personally. You know, he respects us as humans, as people. Yeah. You know, wow. I'm not just mom, I'm Erica. Mm. You know, he's not just daddy, he's Andre. You know, so, you know, the things that we went through and that we go through, our opinions about things and feelings, mm. he, he, there's a place for that. And Seven has a look on his face all the time. It's the same look. You don't know if it's smiling or not, or not, but the look, it's, it's almost as if he's saying, I hope that's working out for you. Wow. You know, and. Like he gave me that look, I'm telling <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I hope it's working out for you. It's not a judge thing. It's not a, right. he's not a judge mental person. He's accepting and he's um, non-confrontational. And mm. hey, just wanted to work out for everybody. Right. And he's taking that into adulthood with him, you know, mm. He's such a such a great human. What was your reaction when you heard that song? Which one? Oh, uh, Miss Jackson. I was I was working on Mama's Gun at the time, and James Poyser busted into the room. So, <laughs> have you have you heard Miss Jackson yet? <laughs> I'm like, no, I haven't. Then he started playing it, you know. And I still had a kind of sore spot 
you know mm. I don't want to hear that you know and especially when I heard Big Boy's verse then when I heard Andre's verse I felt very good mm. because his verse was was really really inspiring mm. you know me and your daughter got yes. a special thing God. you know he just told yeah. how he felt yeah. and it was <clears throat> his honest feelings and I've always respected that mm. and listened to what he felt and appreciated it so I liked it, but how did my mama feel? Our mm. baby, she bought her a Miss Jackson license plate. <laughs> <laughs> she had, she had the mug, merch, merch, <laughs> pop up shop. She had the ink pen. She had the headband. Everything, you know. She loved it. That's who loved it.